Hi there, this is Lori from LM's Crafty Creations. I'm here to share a mini album with you. I made this using Echo Park's Dino and Friends collection. I used one collection pack, the ephemera pack, the chipboard stickers, and the stamps in this album. And where I, it's pretty large, where I didn't have paper, because I only did use one collection pack, I filled it in with uh, plain cardstock, and it worked out really well because this is a very bright collection and it just used primary colors. On the front, I did a little flap here. This is just part, um, something from the ephemera pack. Opens up, and this album is about eight by eight. Oops. This is from the ephemera pack. These are just the chipboard stickers. On the spine, I did die cuts with the view um, denim premium paper. I love this paper. It's very durable. I use it for my spines a lot. And here's the back. This paper was so bright and colorful. On the inside, I did a faux envelope on the cover. These are just some stickers that I layered on some cardstock. And this opens this way. And there's a pocket here. I layered some stickers on some cardstock here. The same here, and then I left this open so you could tuck something underneath it. And this is just a large place for photos with more stickers and places to tuck photos. On this side, there are two um, swing tabs. They're both the same. There's a pocket here. I didn't put a mat inside that one because this album was already pretty chunky. I put um, a sticker, border sticker here, and this is the same, flips down. This is supposed to be on a magnet, which it is sticking a little bit, but not as much as I would like for it to because it's so chunky here. There's so many layers of paper. Here's just a tag from the ephemera pack layered on cardstock. This opens this way. And I'm not going to be able to get it all in the frame, but these border dies, there's one on this side and then one on here on this flap, they are from Kiwi Lane Designs and they're from their mini borders, I believe. And they are a lot of fun to use. I try to incorporate them throughout the album. There's two small photo mats on this side and then a large one on the other. And these are just from the uh, ephemera pack that I layered on cardstock. This closes this way. The tag for this page is right here. They all have plain cardstock here with a little divider tab there. And on the other side, I did a little photo mat with chipboard stickers and a journaling card, one of those Project Life journaling cards. I love lines when I journal, so I figure everyone else does too. <laughs> on this side, more swing tabs. This is popped up on some dimensional foam tape, and it just flips down. And this is a little photo mat with a Project Life card on the back, and this flips out this way. And the top one is the same. Layered some more stickers here, and it flips down and up. This I cut around it so you can stick your photo underneath the dinos, the words there. And this opens up and this you can pull this tab and this little cut apart will come out and you can put your own photo in it. This, oh, Both of these open and there's two large tags in the pockets here. They're both the same. Little sticker here and blank on the back. And then a large place for photos and then a little chipboard sticker there. On this page, this is one of the um, journaling cards. And this opens up this way. Flips open again. I cut out around the dinosaur so you could tuck the photo here. And this opens up this way. 
and there is a large pocket here with the chipboard sticker and on this side another one of the borders that I use from the Kiwi Lane templates again some chipboard stickers here's a cute little tag and a photo mat and here is the tag for that page the next page oops um, on here I used the little clouds to kind of tie this end up here and put the T-Rex there this opens up this way and then out again this way and then this one's the same and then when you close this one it flips up here there's another place for a photo here and there's a pocket here with a tag and I did some stamping with the stamps to create this tag and there's the back The next page, a large cut apart here, and then a pocket with the photo mat. There's a swing tab here that opens, and just large spaces for photos and some stickers. Then this opens, it's on a magnet, opens this way. There's another um, border template that I used another cut apart stuck in here and then this is just some paper piecing I did with some stamps on it a large place for photos and here is the tag for this page it says friends on the little divider another journaling card next page this is a, um, a large belly band and it has an insert from Kathy Orta. It's one of her, from one of her photo mats and inserts. And I just put some, a sticker here and there's the design paper and it flips down and opens up this way. Two spaces for tags. This came out of the ephemera pack, this one right here. And then I just traced around it here to make another one and put those in those pockets. This is, there's another photo mat right there. Can get it back in there. And it goes like this. And here's the back, just some stickers. I tried to use up every single thing that I had to make this album. On this page, another large cut apart, and this flips up. And there we go a cut apart here with just a sticker border strip there it does come out another large space for photos and I can't get that whole thing in the frame there's more space for photos and on this part there is a little swing tab it's not really keeping it closed it's just for decoration but it swings out this way and there's a pocket with a little booklet inside, just a journaling spot, and more spaces for photos there. There's the back. And here's the tag for this page. Two photos and a journaling spot and some chipboard stickers. The next page, this always comes off. There is a magnet in this and on these two that holds this down. This was part of the ephemera pack that I just layered on some cardstock. This comes off and these flaps open. And then these flaps are magnetic and that one opens that way and this one opens that way. To close, this goes there. On this page, it's just a large stacked pocket and I didn't put anything inside the pockets. This is just a large cut apart and it does open. 
this way. I left this area blank so you'd have lots of space for photos and I just cut stuck the cut aparts that I had left in this pocket that I also used a template on to decorate. And on, oh, I forgot the tag. Here's the tag for this one. It says awesome. More chipboard stickers and another Project Life journaling card. And here is the last page. There's a swing tab here, another cut apart from the collection. And this is like a waterfall. It's got several spaces for photos. Large space here. Then this closes. And this opens up for large space. But I can't get in the frame. Sorry about that. I just knocked my camera. On the back cover, I did another pocket here. Sticker here. Oh no, my stickers are coming off. And I did all of the dinosaurs' names here. I thought that was really cute. And I might have, I'm gonna have to fix that. And then here's a little tag that I made to go in this pocket with some stickers. And that goes in there. That is my Echo Park Dino and Friends album. Thanks for watching.